Cherokee 284 travel trailer just came in here at Halet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a quad bunk, meaning four rear bunks. We have it uh, outfitted very nicely. Um, you know, just to turn some heads, we put the uh, platinum package on it, which gives you these cool exterior looks. The uh, the black trim, the accented uh, paint panels. Um, you saw in the back, we did add that uh, travel rack so that you can keep all the kids, uh, you know, coolers and uh, bicycles and everything with you. I love this new uh, nose that they're putting on these. That is just sharp looking. I mean, you know, by contrast, it makes other things look kind of plain. Um, it does have, you know, your, your full uh, stone guard is a standard thing on a Cherokee. We added the cool little power jack so you don't have to crank it up and down the whole time. We added the power awning so that mom and dad can get some patio shade quick and easy. You know, we figure with the quad bunk, you got a lot of kids. You probably don't want to spend a lot of time setting stuff up. We did prep this for solar. If you want to pick up a solar panel and plug it in, it'll keep your batteries trickle charged. It's really good for extending the lifespan of your batteries. Now, something a lot of people don't know about Cherokee trailers is they are all pre-prepped for an RVQ grill. It's not something that they really talk about at Cherokee. And I think that most salespeople at most dealerships don't really know their product. They're not really well educated on their product. Start asking guys at other dealerships how something's built. How are the floors built? How are the walls built? How's the roof built? Odds are, they're not going to know. We take time to actually educate all our guys so that you're uh, you're buying something more than just gee ain't it pretty and look at the price you're actually getting good service and that's something that uh, seems to be increasingly hard to get notice the two giant windows in the slide outs here holy cow i mean those are uh from the back of the sofa all the way to the ceiling i like the uh they put some cool little upgraded treatments on this year we have wood blinds not metal blinds um we did upgrade to a full hide-a-bed sofa. If you look through the pictures, you can see that in action. The King Dinette folds down into, I think it's like 7 foot 2 inch sleeper. If you look through the pictures, you'll see that there's a pair of full extension drawers under each side of that booth. Um, of course, central air and central heat. In something this large, I could not imagine not having central air and heat. It just wouldn't heat or cool efficiently. With Cherokees, you're going to receive residential hardware in the kitchen. That's usually not even available from a lot of other brands. And uh, all of your primary controls are right here in one convenient area. You've got all your light switches and everything, water heater controls in one spot, awning and slide out. Now this is really cool. This button activates your um, LED light strip under the outside awning. Now what a lot of people don't realize is you have another LED light strip right here above the slide out. That's that little black line that you see right there. And what that'll do is it'll shed some indirect light above the slide out and give it a real cool, unique look. Um, this is a little bit larger than a lot of the other quad bunks that I carry, but you get a lot for it. And specifically storage. You have a lot of additional storage in this Cherokee 284 as compared to um, comparable quad bunks. Normally you would not receive any of this space right here. This is a giant extra closet. You could turn it into a wardrobe very easily. And you notice even your, your handles are upgraded on Cherokee. You have full four finger handles and that sounds dumb, but when your hands are full you need anything you can to grab a hold of them. Cherokees have a little larger stool. We are Americans. We tend to be larger people. It does make things a little more comfortable for us. Oversized medicine cabinet and the big, big air fan up here. Those things are incredible. In a trailer this size, if you have nothing else running, they will recycle the air in this camper uh, about twice an hour. It's incredible how much air they can move. And here's the calling card of this floor plan, the rear quad bunks. See the kids have their own entertainment area as well as storage. And there are heat ducts and air ducts back here to keep the kids comfortable. Something Cherokee throws in here is this extra little sock drawer. Um, it's a huge extra space. And I call it a sock drawer because if you've ever had a bunch of kids in a camper and you're trying to get everyone out the door, it always seems like nobody's wearing socks. So that's the one thing that everybody needs right before you leave. Um, there's a lot of other nice things going on here I haven't even talked about. Uh, you know, we have great financing options available. We consider nearly anything on trade here at Halitz, so give us a call. 
5196. Halet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan.